What up? My name is Jay Fox and this is the Major Looks channel. I'm coming at y'all from the crib today because we're changing a lot of clothes today because I'm going to be doing something different. Okay. I'm going to be styling dresses and I tell you, or when I tell you I haven't worn a dress, um, publicly, uh, on purpose since honestly the ju my junior year prom in high school. I'd be lying if I told you that wasn't the truth. But I really like dresses. I like the idea of dresses. Dresses, of course, they make sense for the hotter weather. You get a little breeze going around your kneecaps and stuff. It's a lot of ventilation. It's a lot of breathability. Plus, they're androgynous. I think that they're really cool. There are so many different types of dresses. So I said, you know what? Let me just try. Okay, let me just try to make a dress work because I don't know, sometimes just wearing a dress and just having my legs out raw just feels odd to me. And so I said, you know, let me style them in ways that make sense for me, that makes sense for the way that I like to dress. And maybe, just maybe, your girl will start uh, adding dresses to the rotation. Now, I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money on this because I do anticipate making hella returns. Uh, so I was like, let me just run on over to ASOS, okay, get some dresses. And I'm going to link every single dress that I did get in the description. But before I get into actually styling them, let me show y'all what I got. The first dress is from a brand called Public Desire. The sizing was a little weird. I think the sizes were limited and I didn't really know. I'm like, do I want an oversized look for a dress? Do I not? I don't really know what's appropriate in this situation right now, I'm new. So I just got this in a size six. I'm normally like an eight, but as you can see, it's fairly oversized. It's basically a t-shirt dress. Um, and it just has this little feature of a little tie up on the side and you can like kind of do it up a little bit, scrunch it, make it, you know, more feminine, I guess is the word, I don't fucking know. Or, you know, you could just have it open with the slit, have a little leg meat hanging out. Oh shit, I ain't, I ain't, um, I did not shave my legs. You know what? I feel like if I were to wear dresses often, I don't think I would shave my legs. So we're gonna stick to the brand and keep them legs hairy. <laughs> So that's that. Pretty basic. It's um, it's beige. It's a neutral. I figured it's basic enough so that I could, you know, do more with it. So basically a t-shirt dress. The next dress I got, it kind of gives me Princess Diana vibes a bit. It's got a little bit of a preppy vibe. It's from River Island and it says size 12, but I feel like that's a US size or UK size 12, which I think is what, like an eight? And I figured, you know, I like button downs. I like regular button downs. Maybe I would like a button down dress, right? That was my kind of line of thought. I didn't realize that it had these Queen Elizabeth buttons on them. These William Shakespeare buttons. I did not know that it had that on here. Had I known, I probably would not have bought it, but it does feature a nice little cinch in the middle and it happens in the back as well. I figured that little cinch would allow me to kind of keep the rest of the dress unbuttoned and just kind of wear it as a shirt. Anticipate me wearing these dresses as shirts for at least, at least like 60% of them. Just expect pants, expect, honestly, that's, make that the tagline, major looks, expect pants. That was my life thinking for this, but we'll see if that, if that look actually comes together. This next dress is also another button down, but she's a bit more, she, she's got more movement. She's got a little bit more, uh, she's a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm assuming something of a polyester, recycled polyester, ooh, period, okay. <laughs> recycled polyester, size medium. The brand is Monkey, Monkey. I've heard of this brand before. I've heard of this brand. The UK girls go up for a little monkey, and I don't know if that, is like a bigger corporation that owns like H&M and you know all these other little stores that we know about and love, but definitely a brand that I've heard of before. I don't own anything from this brand though. And I may not even own this because she might be going back. Let me not be so negative. Okay, this is gonna work out. I created boards of each of these outfits. I'm sure you've seen them all at this point by now, but I've created boards uh, that of outfits that I think will work with each of these. So I did a little bit of work ahead of time and I'm hopeful, but this is just very outside of my element. And so 
you know, we're proceeding with caution. But same idea as the other one. It just doesn't have that little feature in the front. And it's a little bit more box, a little bit more wide, more casual. So I figured maybe something like easy, uh, maybe even something that like focuses on the black, something with black so that the blue can like pop off. I don't know, maybe some clogs or something. You know, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. This is another t-shirt dress from the brand Weekday. I actually have a pair of jeans, I think, from Weekday. Um, and this is a shorter uh, Rick Owens light version of that other dress that I showed you, this is essentially just an oversized t-shirt. And I'm aware that it's an oversized t-shirt, but I'm just being realistic about the ways that I actually wear my clothes. It doesn't make sense for me as someone who doesn't wear dresses to go out and buy a bodycon and something that, you know, Megan Thee Stallion would wear. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not built like that. So I gotta like, ease my way into the stuff, you guys. Um, and so that's why I just got this basic little t-shirt dress. I plan on uh, kind of keeping it in the Rick Owens universe. And I know, I know the Rick heads are like, what? How, nay, how dare thee say the name and wear things that aren't Rick with other Rick. Look, it's kind of giving me the Rick Owens vibe. So that's why I'm like, let me just keep it in that same styling universe and see what we can pull out. I think it'll be a vibe. Stay tuned, I could be wrong. And lastly, this is, I wanna say this is an ASOS brand uh, under their reclaimed vintage line. A polo dress? A short sleeve buttoned polo dress? I don't know what you would call this. Uh, it's, it's a dress with buttons, it's a dress with buttons. It's got a very um, postcard kind of print all over it. It says Positano, greetings from Positano. There are people on the beach. I'm gonna put together something that is vacation worthy. Something vacation, vacation, vacate, vacation. That's how much you know I need one. I don't even know how to say it. Vacation, I'm gonna put something vacation worthy together. Something that feels summertime. Something that feels resort E. I'm excited. Let's see what we do, how we're gonna do it, and what it's gonna look like. So this is what we've come up with, with that first dress. And here's the thing, does this look bad? No, it doesn't. I can see, you know, your local bestie showing up, you know, for your baby sister to get her ears pierced at Claire's. I can see her pulling this out. I can see other people pulling this out, but I just don't find the actual dress part to do anything. And I don't know if it's because I don't have hips, so it just goes straight down, you know what I mean? But that's partly why I added this jacket. It's slightly cropped and it's pretty wide, so I figured maybe there would be like a nice little juxtaposition between the jacket and then the kind of uh, slim, straight nature of the dress. But I think it just emphasizes the point <laughs> that I'm making about the dress just kind of falling straight down and not really doing much. And I think it'd be more flattering if I show a little bit more leg or something. And this dress does have like a, like you can tie this up, but it bunches like this and it stays the same. So yeah, I did my best and it's cute. It's fine, but it's not like a moment. You know, this doesn't scream, oh, that's different. Or, oh, that's great. Or, oh, that looks, really good and flattering, you know? It's just kind of on my body. That's how I feel. But let's go ahead and try dress number two. Look number two. The sun is coming out. Maybe that means that this is a winter, winter chicken dinner. I don't know if we eating though. I don't really know if she ate. So this is um, that River Island striped button down shirt with the little gathering in the middle and the fugly buttons. I tried this dress on without fastening this, just regular to see how it looked. Not a thing, I understand why they added this little cinch here, otherwise it just goes straight down, similar to the last dress. So for this, I tried to do like a, like a CEO off, off duty kind of vibe. So I have on these new balances and they have a bit of black and blue in them. They have the same color, so I figured that they would work. I wanted to keep the colors pretty simple, which is why I picked a blue and black shoe, because even though the shirt isn't necessarily complicated, she's got a lot going on. You know, between the stripes, this color of blue, and then these buttons, there's a lot. This shirt is trying to say a lot. So I decided to keep the rest of the outfit pretty minimal, and I did what I 
told you what I was going to do. I undid all these buttons. And even though these pants don't have pockets, which in year 2022, how we're making pants with no pockets, they are women's pants and we do make way less money than men. So maybe they're like, huh, bitch, what are you putting in those pockets? <laughs> Nothing. So maybe that's why we used to be a country. That's all I'm saying. I have on these very high waisted black pants because the height of the pants kind of rests uh, where the dress splits, where I decided to stop buttoning the buttons. And I thought it made a nice little, you know, kind of situation. I would love to hit you with the, hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 with the pocket, you know? I would love to hit y'all with that, but I can't because ain't no pockets. You know, it's not a bad look. Give me a rating. I don't think it's a bad look. I give this look like a six, you know? Decided to keep it business appropriate with the Telfar, and it actually has my laptop in it right now, so very much, you know, sticking to the aesthetic, sticking to the brand here, and this is what we're working with. Let me get Jaden's ranking. Babe, what do you rank this outfit? One out of 10. Pretend there's a pocket here. Cause there isn't. I gave myself a six. It's probably around the same. Like a six. A six. Seven. Six seven. It has potential. Six seven. Uh, spring summer. Joggers. That's <laughs> that's what this is giving. Okay, next dress. All right. So, I don't move my post-it. So the next fit, it's kind of giving me Billy Porter vibes, mainly because of the dress that I'm wearing. This is the monkey the monkey dress um, from ASOS. It's got pockets and I kept it all unbuttoned just so that I could expose these kind of like ribbed pants that I got from Zara forever ago. And then on top of that, to kind of keep, I don't really know, I don't really wear many long things. And so I kind of wanted to keep the vibe going with this shirt and add another long layer on top, which is this overcoat that I got for like $10 at Goodwill. And personally, I don't think that this is a bad look. This is the most me look. Like, would I wear this publicly? Yes. I would because I had these Birkenstocks that are this beautiful, like electric blue color and they kind of match. They're not the exact same blue, but they're close enough. I don't really know. I just feel like a clog kind of like disrupts the energy of whatever you have going on in the rest of your outfit in a way that I like in a more unique way. I guess I just wanted this to read less of dress and I wanted it to read more of shirt, like a layering shirt where you don't really get to see the whole thing. All you really get is a bit of design and a little bit of color. And then I kept that going with the shoes like I mentioned before. And so I don't think this is a bad look. I added the crossbody bag because I felt like the stripes, the long jacket, like I just feel like I needed something like here-ish. And I threw on the little Gucci the little Gucci crossbody. Um, I did a little unboxing on this on my channel if you were interested in watching it. And I am mad at her. All right, y'all, we got two more dresses. Honestly, I think I'm gonna give this one a seven. I think, I honestly, I might give her like a seven and a half. Seven and a half. I might give her a seven and a half because I think, like I said, I would probably wear this outside. And this, this shirt, it's fitting me differently than I thought it was going to. So I'm glad I'm doing this because that's another thing. It's like, just be not all dresses are created the same. Not all dresses are cut the same. And I might not be, you know, a big fan of all dresses, but dresses that are specifically cut like this and that are in this fabric, the recycled uh, polyester, then maybe, you know? It's just about opening up, expanding our horizons a bit. And so, yeah, I'm fucking with it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the next bit. All right, y'all. So the vacation dress is on. And I know what you may be thinking. Jade, this feels a little bit um, like cheating to me because you're not wearing your dress as a dress. But I've realized this might be the best way for me to incorporate dresses into my wardrobe is by identifying dresses that I don't have to wear as dresses. Um, this one actually was a little bit too small, so I kind of had no choice but to tuck it in all the way because if I um, had it just regular how it was, it was just very much giving like soy rizo link. You know, and I don't mean that in a, in a, like in a plump way. I mean that just in a straight up and down, no shape, no nothing kind of way. So I decided to tuck it all the way in to uh, these jeans that I got from Zara for like $9. They're men's, so they're really oversized. I also come with this little rope belt that is built 
into the pants so it can't even come out even if I wanted to take her out um, I decided to add the Gucci crossbody bag paired with the Aquila glasses because I like the black frame and there are hits of black in the shirt um, as well as yellow and I thought that the black the black and then uh, my shoes, you know, would work well together. And these are Doc Martin sandals. I'm cutting off at my ankles because y'all, I need a pedicure bad. My feet look a little prehistoric right now. And so I can't really be giving y'all all that drama on the, on the cameras right now, but just know we're giving dad sandal on the feet, black. And so this is the vibe for the dress. I actually like this one a lot. Um, it's definitely one of the more simpler looks, but I think during vacation time, during the hotter months, you tend to go for simpler looks anyway. And so I'm gonna give her like, I'm gonna give her like a, mm, I mean, mm, I, might, I might give her an eight. Y'all can't see my feet from all the way back here. I'm gonna have to give her an eight. Yeah. Okay, so we got one more dress. Be right back. The last fit. This is that t-shirt dress that I showed y'all at the beginning. I tucked it into these little Rick Owen shorts because I felt like I kinda wanted to play with how big it is and <laughs> but I didn't want, basically I wanted to like tuck it in to basically just emphasize the, the oversizedness of this dress and I felt like when I didn't have it tucked in, it didn't really do that. It just kinda looked like a sheet on me whereas here you've got some you know some some dimension some volume and i decided to keep that vibe going with this giant hat from adder error i believe that's what the name of the brand is from farfetch i think and then i also like these shorts because they cut off at just the right length and you can still see my little tattoo and then i have on the rick owens remotes because they just go with everything and if you you know if you got things to carry that day we can throw on the little bandana bag and now we're giving errands. Now we're giving farmer's market, you know, trading posts, that kind of vibe. And I like this too. I don't know if I, I feel like I would wear this, but I would have to be wearing this very, somewhere very specific, you know, like your home girl is having her home girls to go to Six Flags for the day. Like I would throw something like this on because it's comfortable, like it's cozy, um, but it's also really breathable, it's light, so, if it's gonna be hot outside, run around the amusement park, that kind of vibe, you're gonna be okay. Can get get whoo, get uh, some cover from the sun as well. And I feel like I just like the overall vibe of this outfit. It's kind of like I don't give a shit, but also like kind of Japanese, but also you know, it's like oversized with intention. So I like it. I think these outfits got progressively better. I mean, they're and they also got progressively more pants. But, you know, at the end of the day, this was an experiment to see what I could do with dresses. And really, I think the lesson that I've learned throughout this entire video is that you don't have to wear dresses as dresses. I just don't think that that's really my vibe. But wearing dresses as substitutes for shirts, that is my vibe. Because I'm gonna be completely honest with you, when I go shopping, whether it's in store or online, I never look at the dresses section. I don't even click. The dresses section but now that i'm realizing now like okay i can incorporate dresses into my wardrobe it just has to be in this way i think that that's kind of what the whole point of this was was to figure out how i can make them work even if it's not in the traditional sense and so thank you all for tuning into this video thank you all for coming to my crib or whatever i had to clean up a little bit just because i was doing this today i will link this nice little contraption in the description because it's a nice little divider if you don't have a, an official office space and you're like me and you kind of just have like your own corner of the of the house as your office space this is a nice little divider it's also a nice little backdrop for your like zoom meetings and that type of thing so that said my name is jade fox this has been the major looks channel and do not forget wear what you want wear what you like wear it out and i'll see you soon